therapeutic massage is the application of mechanical forces to the body. Being demonstrated now is tension force. Traditionally, this has been called effleurage, more recently gliding. The tension force results when tissues are spread apart as being demonstrated. Regardless of where you are in the body, it is a movement to separate the ends of the tissue. Compression is the next mechanical force. The combination of compression with tension ends up being about 95% of what we do with our massage application. Compression is applied 90 degrees to the tissue so that the force goes straight down against the bone. Body mechanics wise, it's efficient to place the body on an angle so that you can lean into the tissues to generate the 90 degrees for the force application. Bending force occurs when compression is applied to create a concavity and a convexity in the tissues. It is a combination of compression into the concavity and then tension force results over the convexity. Shear force is used to move one layer of tissue over the other. It works in an S-curve system, almost like a double bend. What's being demonstrated now is friction technique, which is a form of shear force application. The distinguishing quality of shear force is that it moves in one plane of motion back and forth, back and forth. Torsion force twists the tissues around the structures underneath. In massage, we have called this petrissage, more currently kneading. It is a common method that we find in massage application, and it's very good at increasing pliability in the tissue structures. Massage application typically consists of using more than one force on the body. As you are seeing demonstrated, there is a combination of tension force by moving the arm, compressive force, uh, shear force as the leg is moved back and forth, and using these methods in combination, we're able to create an infinite number of applications to the body.